Hello Richard, I thought I'd make you a bit of a home movie, show you what I've been doing. I've made the top nine triangles of the fractal clock, oh, zooming in a bit now so you can see them. Uh, I've just made these to the right proportions and, uh, oops, sorry about the camera work. So you can see that's, we're looking now from the the king's position at those the top nine triangles of the fractal clock. Uh, it doesn't look bad. I've, I've worked from the computer and put these up in the, in real space. Um, the viewing position we're about 15 meters away here. Uh, it looks pretty good, I think. Uh, but if we start to move, let me have a look. Let's keep it here. Uh, if we start to move, I'm moving gradually to my right. And hopefully you can see now the reality of it. Yeah, uh, they are dispersed in space. Um, up to about two and a half meters apart well, actually, no, more than that. I suppose across the whole field, there may be, there's maybe three meters of depth in this. Sorry. Uh, so that the, uh, the fractal is clearly a, an illusion. This won't be the best movie ever made, I know. I'm trying to move, come in towards uh, 90 degrees, I suppose. Obviously, these are just this is just static in the hour position. Uh, they're not rotating yet, but this is this is where they would kind of end up. Nice bit of light glare now, so you can't see anything uh, coming around towards the the rear. Uh, sorry, this isn't really going to work, is it? Uh, around towards the the back. Uh, they're so far apart. I don't think I can even. Yeah, they say there's the back one. I can't actually get a wide enough angle to to get them all in. Anyway, I'm going to move down. <laughs> I'm going to move down the other side of the theatre now. Um, but I'm just trying to see if the principle works, if, the, if optically what I'm seeing in the computer might actually translate to a real space. And it, and it looks as if it, it looks as if it will. Um, uh, there is no fractal, mathematical fractal, actually um, present. It's just... Dependent upon position. <laughs> I'm trying to find my way back to the mark uh, without looking for it. It must be somewhere about there. And looking down, I can see that yes, it is. And we're back in the back in the king's position now. So there we are. Oop. The first part of perceptual fractal. Um, that's the top nine triangles of the total 81. Um, I'm going to work on now, I'm going to work on the materials, work on glass, different different kinds of glass. Um, I think I figured out the rotation um, using stepper motors. Um, a stepper motor to each triangle. Um, we should be able to um, very price, precisely control the, uh, the rotation of each triangle. Um, and get the kind of clock rotation uh, any way we want, actually. Oop, it's walked into the wall. Um, so, there we are. Um, <coughs> all I need now is a, is a sponsor. <laughs> I need somebody to commission this now. Uh, and then I think we can make it. Okay, well, I'll speak to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.